What's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can factory reset, also known as a hard reset, your Apple iPhone 16 and 16 Plus. Let's go. Welcome back to the video. My name's Sergio, and in this channel, I make life saving tech videos. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell if you want to get notified when I upload new videos. And also, if you want an epic phone case like this for your phone, check out the links down below in the description. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can factory reset, in other words, erase everything on your iPhone back to its factory condition. You may want to do this if your iPhone is freezing up, it's not acting properly, or you just want to erase everything on it to clean out the storage because maybe the phone's not working properly, or maybe there's a password on the device and you forgot it or you can't get into it. So by doing a factory reset, it means you'll erase everything on the phone, even the software back to its factory state so that you can activate the phone and start using it normally again. So I'm going to show you two ways to do the factory reset in this video. The first way is if you can log into your phone through the settings. And the second way is if you forgot your password and you can't get into the phone. All right, let's jump right into it. So if you can log into your phone, it's really simple. All you have to do is find the settings. So settings is usually on the first page. In settings, you're gonna scroll down to general. Here in general, you're gonna scroll all the way towards the bottom. And as you can see down here, we have transfer or reset iPhone. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. We're gonna select, we're gonna, we're gonna select erase all content and settings. Okay, here it is just gonna let you know uh, that if you do have uh, data that you do wanna keep, make sure you back up your iPhone before you do this because everything on it will be erased. Once you are ready, go ahead and hit continue and then hit erase iPhone to confirm and the reset process will begin. And I uh, should take a few minutes and then your iPhone will be reset back to its factory condition. All right, so I'm gonna show you now in case you have a password and you can't get into the phone, okay? Or also if you put in the password wrong too many times, the iPhone will be disabled. It's gonna say something like this, unavailable. And if you've done that enough times, it'll be unavailable for a longer period of time. All right, so if your phone is locked completely, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna connect it to your computer, okay? So we're gonna need the USB type C cable and go ahead and connect it to your computer. All right, once you have your phone connected, to the computer what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and press volume up volume down and then press and hold the power lock button until the phone shuts off once it shuts off we're gonna let go of the power lock button and then we're gonna press volume up and the power lock button and hold them okay so let's go ahead and do it now so volume up volume down power lock button continue to hold okay once the screen blacks out we let go of the power lock button and we press it again along with the volume up button so continue to hold now, volume up, and the power lock button until the recovery screen appears. Once you see that, you can let go. This is the iPhone restore mode. Okay, so once you see this, we're good to go. We should get this message here on the screen. It says a software update is required to connect to your iOS device. So let's go ahead and hit install. It's gonna download the iOS file first. Okay, so that will take a few minutes, uh, depending on your internet speed connection. If for any reason the iPhone leaves the restore mode, while it's downloading the software, just go ahead and put it back in restore mode like I showed you after it is downloaded. All right, so uh, it says just a few seconds left. So now it says installing. All right, we have this pop-up here that came up. Uh, it says sy system extension block. So uh, here it's uh, it's letting you know that there's a problem. It requires to be updated or restored. So just go ahead and hit update or restore. It's same thing, it's, it's gonna install the iOS that was just downloaded. So just go ahead and hit it update. Okay, here we're gonna get this pop-up box uh, to confirm. Go ahead and hit next. Agree to the terms and conditions. Okay, and now it is downloading the iOS iPhone software update. As you can see, nine gigabytes, seven minutes remaining. So I'll continue recording after it's downloaded. So like I said, since this is the big file that you need to download, if it gets out of restore mode, just follow the steps once again, put it in restore mode after this software is downloaded. All right, so 10 seconds remaining for the download of the software. So since it did download it pretty quickly, it never left the restore mode. As you can see, it's still here. Um, so now that it's fully downloaded, it should start installing it automatically. All right, so as you can see, now it is extracting the software from the iPhone. So it's getting it ready to install the new software. Okay, so after the software is extracted, uh, now it's preparing the iPhone for, soft, for the software update. As you can see, the screen here on the iPhone changed. Now it's showing the Apple logo. So now it's updating the iPhone firmware. Gonna have to wait for the loading bar to load all the way. 
So the next step is uh, verifying the updated iPhone software. So it's almost done fully loading here on the iPhone as well. Looks like it's all the way to the end of the loading bar here on the iPhone. And there we go, it is finally finished. Here on the computer, it says your iPhone has been updated and is restarting. Please leave your iPhone connected. It will appear here shortly. Okay, so, all right, so after you get that message, that final message on the computer that it has been restored, you'll probably get this uh, one final loading bar on the iPhone. So just let it do its thing. And then after that, it should be reset. And there we go. The reset process is now complete. Uh, now we're at the initial setup of the iPhone 16. So one thing I do wanna mention before I let you go is that if it doesn't work on the first try that you do this, just go ahead and repeat the process one more time, put it into restore mode and follow the steps on the computer because sometimes on the first try, it will not work. It's happened to me. Um, so I had to do it a second try and it completely erased it on the second try. All right, everyone, so that is how you factory reset also known as a hard reset and restore your Apple iPhone 16 and 16 plus. Go ahead and destroy that like button if this video helped you out. Comment down below. Let me know if it did. And that's all for this video. Catch you in the next one. As always, peace.